Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I'm going to show y'all how I made this super cute and really easy foil cheetah print tumbler. I love the design, the colors, the decal, everything about it. I really, really hope you guys love it too and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. So I have a 20 ounce skinny straight tumbler and it's base painted Island Girl from Color Shot. This is such a beautiful color and I think it's going to pair really, really well with these gold metallic flakes from the Glitter Grind. I just think that looks really, really good together. So what I'm going to do is take a little medicine cup and add some tacket. It's not going to take a whole lot whoop, at all. And then... Take a small paintbrush, and I'm putting a very, very small amount of this tacket on my paintbrush, and just kind of like adding small little globs, some bigger than others, but just not like perfect circles. Like make some of them just different shapes. Don't be perfect with it. And I'm only going to do a few at a time. before I set this in front of my heater and let it completely dry before I move on to the gold flakes. Okay, so I didn't want it to dry completely clear because I wouldn't be able to see where I put it and then I, I wouldn't know where to put my flakes. But I am going to apply a small gold flake onto one of my little blobs here. I'm just going to cover up each little blob that I made with my tacket with some of the gold flakes. And this stuff is like really, really light. If I have it too close to me and I take a deep breath and blow it out, like it's going to blow everywhere. So just be like super, super careful of that. But it is really, really beautiful stuff to work with. I think that was the last one. I'll add a little bit more here. All right, and now I'm just gonna kind of like push it down into that um, tacket and also just kind of like rub it in a little bit, not like too hard, but just kind of pushing down and really making sure it's sticking. And you can see the texture kind of changes whenever it gets smashed down like so. Alright, and now I'm going to continue to do this around the tumbler until I am satisfied. that's all done it's time to add the cheetah spots around it like the outlines so in another medicine cup here I've just got some black apple barrel acrylic paint and a much skinnier paintbrush and again it's not going to take much I am not trying to make it like too heavy and globby but I'm going to kind of just like very gently outline So I'm just outlining not the entire thing, just like each side of it, if that makes sense. So I'm going to keep doing that to each gold section here until they are all outlined a little bit. So now the only thing I'm going to do for the rest of today is let this paint dry completely. I'm not going to do any sealing or anything like that. And I'm just going to add one coat of epoxy. 
Alright, so it's the next day, and I'm going to add a decal to this, and I'm also going to add um, some other little small black spots, because it just, it's a little bit plain. But I did find this really, really super cute decal on Creative Fabrica. It says, Choose Happy. Um, there was a little heart down here. I didn't really like it, so I just erased that. But... I just have some plain black vinyl and then an offset with some really pretty textured gold vinyl. And I'm going to try my offset a little differently today. Normally, I will pick up the offset, place it, and then I will put the regular decal over it. I want to try to put the main decal over top of the offset and then just pick it all up. So let's see how that goes. I don't think I like doing it that way, but I just wanted to try it. I don't know. I just wanted to give it a shot. So I'm going to stick this on here vertically. So I like to stand my tumblers straight up and apply them like so. Sometimes I'll use a tumbler cradle. It just kind of depends on what I'm doing. All right, so that is super cute. So now I'm just going to go through with a, another skinny little paintbrush and the same um, paintbrush that I used to apply the outlines yesterday and I'm just making like those little marks in the blank spaces just to kind of like fill up some more space because as I was putting epoxy on it yesterday I thought oh, that's just a little too plain so I'm going to try to fill it in. Okay, I just think that makes it look a lot better. So now I'm just going to let this paint dry for about the next 20 minutes or so and add the final coats of epoxy. So here's the finished result and I think it is so stinking cute. It's very, very simple, but I love the colors and I just love the design. I think this is like one of my favorite tumblers that I've made in a while. It's just really simple, but I love it. And before I go, like always, I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day, and today's quote is, for every minute that you are angry, you lose 60 seconds of happiness. That's all I have for y'all today. I really, really hope you enjoyed this Tumblr, this tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you. I hope you recreate one for yourself, and if you do, please post it in the Courtney's Customs Facebook group. Tag me in it, because I would love to see it. If y'all have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Be kind, love one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!